think that mental health issues are, I, I mean, I don't, want, I don't even want to say issues, but like mental health ailments, mm-hmm. I guess. Do you think they're more prevalent today or do you think we just talk about them more? I like think, they're a little more accepted. I think that we just talk about them personally. I think we just talk about them more. I think, I think that there's also a lot of, um, I don't know, like not misdiagnosis, but like misunderstanding of the community of people that um, like do drugs and things like that. Also, that like it's always kind of put as just like, well, they're deciding to do drugs or whatever. Um, I guess misdiagnosis wasn't the word. Um, But that like a lot of times there's a lot of underlying mental health issues like with that kind of stuff like in in typically in drug addicts as well there's a lot of underlying mental health issues because i mean escapism is like one of the biggest pulls of like those kind of drugs it's like you get to zone out or it puts you to sleep or you know whatever so i don't know that i don't know that it's necessarily more prevalent i think it maybe feels more prevalent because it's more accept it so people like feel maybe more like they can talk about it more and because we've come to realize how important it is that there's more resources so maybe it feels like that there's more things going on or that more people are depressed um or have anxiety or bipolar or whatever um but i don't think that there's necessarily more depression or or suicides or anything going on in general Mm -hmm. that i that in my personal opinion I think just like with the um, with like the tragedies and stuff like that, there's just there's so much more exposure of like everything that's going on. Whereas I don't know that necessarily there are more, you know, robberies now than, you know, whenever um, or something like that. I mean, certain things I think are probably higher, um, but in general i think there's just more exposure to yeah you have more like access you, yeah to you it. can access anything on basically anywhere at any time and so you're just like whoa like there's so much coming in and coming at you that it's like the world is a terrible place and i mean it's not the best place yeah it's, it's definitely <laughs> it's hard. hard it's a hard it's definitely hard it's hard um but i think i think also just yeah societally like it was it was pull yourself up by your bootstraps, suck it up, act like a man for a really long time. Um, and I think in a lot of places it's still like that. And in, within a lot of cultures and a lot of families it's still like that. Um, but I think it's more acceptable to – whether it's within your family or just you find your own niche um, that's accepting of what it is that you're going through, then you can talk about it more um, rather than, you know, fucking – suck it up act like a man don't cry all that machismo shit yeah i'm guessing you're not a fan of those, those no statements. i'm not um, <laughs> i'm not um because it doesn't let people like be vulnerable it doesn't let people be people like i mean if i mean it's not saying that like we have to air out every single possible thing that happens throughout the day like every time i get like a sad bit or like about where i go in a down spiral or whatever i don't need to talk about it endlessly to everybody but, I mean, if I'm having a bad day and, like, I can't hold it in and I want to have a breakdown at work, one, it shouldn't be a thing of, like, oh, she's on her period. <laughs> I hate that shit. Or it's more because, like, it's a female or whatever. If you want to have a breakdown at work, have a breakdown at work, you know? Like, if, if something's really, really weighing on you, like, you shouldn't have to bury it down for the comfort of society. Like, I think that that is a terrible idea. I mean, and that kind of in itself is a fine line, I guess, because then you'll get people that, you know, everything is like out there for everybody. Um, And so it's kind of a balance. But I mean, if if you're having a hard time, like you don't need to keep that in all to yourself. Like that's terrible. So what it's going to do is then, oh, here's your other bad time on top. Here's your other bad time on top, on top, on top. And you're just fucking piling it. Yeah, just buried in bad times and sad and in like in sad emotions and all that kind of stuff and it's it makes it a lot harder for the good things to feel good and it makes it just a lot easier to stay in your hole and then people don't really notice if that kind of becomes your personality and you're just silently like struggling which sucks um and it sucks to 
be that person. It sucks to be the family member of that person because, like, you can't – If it's hard to help them. It sucks to be the partner of that person because it's hard to help them. Like, all of it. Yeah, it's draining on your relationships. Yeah. If and you're it, not, like – And it's – yeah, it's super multifaceted. But I go back and forth. I mean, people love to shit on, especially the pull yourself up by your bootstraps. People love yeah. to shit on that phrase. But I, I like that. Like, uh-huh. I was raised in a lot of ways on that. Like, mm-hmm. not explicitly, but just, like, do the work. Yeah. Like, your work ethic is going to define who you are as yeah. a person in a way. Mm-hmm. But I also think you do need to find a balance. You do need to take care of yourself. Yeah. And make sure that you are okay because if right. you're not okay it doesn't matter how hard you work you're right. not gonna get anywhere yeah i think when it comes to like work that work work ethic um and stuff yeah like get your shit done and like let's let's get it done that makes sense to me um more so of the like like if you're having a hard day or whatever and like you need 20 minutes to just fucking l- let something out or like you need to take a walk or whatever like i don't see how that's a bad thing um, cause all it's going to do is like better what it is that you're trying to do, like in your personal life or your work life or whatever, if like your mental health, which then like it helps with your physical health and vice versa is on point, then your work ethic or whatever it is that you're trying to reach and trying to do is going to be better. And it's going to be on point because you're like cohesive and you're, you know, put together and whatever. Exactly. But I think that it's just, it's difficult, but I think it's gotten a lot better better i think the exposure for male mental health is a lot better um too where it's become more acceptable for that to happen um my biggest thing i have two younger brothers and so i don't want them to have to like tamper shit down because they're men and they're like not allowed to be sad like yes you are like you sad shit happens to boys too (laughs) um like and you can be upset about it too and it doesn't make you like a pansy or a sissy or whatever <laughs> the phrases are like it doesn't make you less of a man or whatever um like that's just it's just a human emotion i mean it's it is so it weird is. how that how that just got that slipped in right that women are allowed to show emotions and men you just gotta show that shit yeah. down yeah because you're gonna be thought of as less of a man or whatever like you know it's weird, right? It's weird it. how that just came. I mean, thinking about it. Yeah, I've never, it's just, it's I've weird. never understood it. I'm like, we're all people, yes. We all have problems, yes. Okay, so we should What's all be able to here? express emotions, right? Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, I've I've tried my hardest when it comes to like my brothers and stuff. Um, to, you know, cause at times, um, my dad will do the whole, like, what are you fucking crying about? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's sad. <laughs> like, he's eight. He's sad. Let him like, be sad Let for him be sad. The kid's eight. Like, come on. We don't need to do this this early on. This is crazy. Um, and then I'll fall on the side. I'll be like, dad, it's okay. dad can be tough sometimes <laughs> but you can be sad it's okay um because then i think too that it creates like it just is like a, a never-ending cycle of you know kids are taught at that at home and then if you have a kid that's like a little bit less you know manly or machismo or whatever than him he's gonna get fucking picked on for being a regular kid and that sucks 